park staff receives training so they can respond to small fires in our regional parks. From the air, the forests of our watersheds are a spectacular sight. But these impressive stands of trees also represent potential fuel for forest fires. When it's in an extreme fire danger, the fire jumps up into the trees. And at that point, you can't actually contain a fire, typically. It would just run up the valley here. It would be a tragedy, obviously. Metro Vancouver's Watershed Management Division provides wildland forest protection in these areas. But it also works with the Parks Division to battle wildfires within the region's parkland. We take them and do some practical type stuff with our different pumps, uh, talk about some safety components when we're out in a sort of a forest type setting. So if staff is asked to go to a fire and they've never been to a fire before, they at least would feel comfortable showing up um, and be prepared so we could deploy and use them on an incident. Park staff receives training so they can respond to small fires in our regional parks. But in a large wildfire, they may be called upon to supplement Metro Vancouver's three-person initial attack crew because fast response is key to the overall strategy. Really, we depend on uh, our public to report. There are eyes and ears out there. Our public are really helpful when it comes to any of these types of emergencies. In the province, we run roughly about a 95% success rate at initial attack. And that's really the goal, is to get in there quickly and suppress it before you get larger fires. It's safer for the firefighters, reduces costs, and is much more sustainable in the long term. Well, the parks and, and all our different natural areas are very nice, and we want to preserve and protect them. And so we would hope that everybody visiting them, that come to the parks and Lower Seymour, are respectful and uh, think about their actions when they're out there to help protect all our parks and natural areas.